Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this awesome showcase which we have for you today. We've got a lovely Dark Elder Drukhari custom scheme force for you guys to check out. It's all been painted by Sion, one of the artists here at Siege. Lovely selection of miniatures. We've got some Cabalite Warriors, an Archon, a Ravager, a Raider and two Venoms. Uh, really, really good selection of models for you guys to check out. So let's jump in and have a look at it in all of its dark, majestic glory. Um, starting right from the get-go, we're going to have a look at this Ravager and uh, the colour scheme is this incredible sort of tealy green to blue and purple etheric scheme with accents of orange uh, and copper which just work really really well kind of a very royal kind of looking color scheme which i just think works extremely well across all the models we've got some sort of stenciling work that's been done as per our client request just to add a little bit of kind of a shimmer to the uh, colorway which is just really cool uh, but really cleanly executed these models are magnetized, so all the weapons are fully magged to be interchangeable uh, for our client. And I love the accents of orange on the control columns and buttons and things, plus also little tassels and things. Obviously, that's a crude head, but uh, there are nice splashes of orange just on there to complement that green, which just works really, really lovely. If we look at the uh, lenses just on that gunner on the front there, you can see obviously just done in a yellowy orange color as well to complement the armor of the, uh, the warrior, uh, which is just really cool. But this awesome etheric greeny blue to purple um, scheme, it just works so well. Uh, really really fallen in love with it to be perfectly honest with you if i was going to do a dark elder army i think i would do something very very similar to this uh, now looking at some of the other models we've got uh, this would have a look at the raider as well uh, just really really awesome awesome model it has really lasted the test of time in the raider i think it's very fitting with the uh, dark elder way uh, but again you've got obviously one of the crew just hanging on there as you can see uh, and then obviously all the little details painted across the uh, the gunners and also the racks obviously of weapons and things uh, but just again really awesome scheme uh, with that sort of transitional blue, bluey green to purple it just works so so well uh, but again a very 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 nice miniature um, and then we'll jump back and have a look at the uh, the the, the venoms over here at the back uh, we'll just pull forward one first of all so you can have a look both exactly the same uh, you can see that stenciling work that's been done there just on the nose cone of this venom and uh, again you can see that orange sort of uh, canopy just to complement that that colorway which we've got but again a really awesome etheric kind of scheme and color uh, love the pale pallid flesh on the gunner as well i think that works really nicely uh, but again every little detail fully painted all edge highlighted as well it's just really cool and all the little buttons and dials on the uh, on the screens there inside the uh, just where the gunner is are all painted also uh, so that's just one of the venoms the other venom is exactly the same uh, but i'm more than happy to put it forward so just so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature again really really nice execution on this one uh, as well but again just love this bluey green to purple kind of etheric scheme it almost looks like it's got a shimmer going across it which i just think is uh, is absolutely awesome like it's decloaking or something which is just just phenomenal uh, so that's the other venom um then we're going to have a look and pull forward at some of these uh we'll start with the archon now these are blue tacked as i mentioned just so you can uh, so you can see obviously our client is going to be doing all the basing uh, of these miniatures so i'll just be really delicate with this model as i hold it and show you guys uh, this is just the archon here as you can see every little bit of detail on him painted again you've got nice nice uh, orange uh, accent color uh, just to compliment if we just move around you can see this skin cloth that he's got here uh, again really really well done all the little bits of sinew and hide and this little sort of scars and things on the skin which just is really really cool Sion's done a phenomenal job on this project i love the bone sword as well i think it's just really really cool very grim and gory as you can see uh, and the base for this miniature again we've done a little bit of, of, of the skulls and things on the base for our client but it, again it's blue tacked as our client is doing all the basing across the force for you guys that are wondering as to why uh, they are all blue tacked two bases we'll pull forward some cab -like warriors just so you can have a look at them again you've got those sort of yellowy orangey lenses on all their sort of uh, helms uh, again you can see all the skin tabards all fully painted multiple highlight stages on those lovely kind of etheric colors that are also done on these um, that matching sort of armor color on the uh, cab -like warriors to the um 
to the ships and sort of uh, transports and things, which is really cool. Uh, so we'll just pull forward a few of these warriors for you guys to check out. Again, really awesome, awesome scheme that our client came up with and asked us to execute for him. Really do love it. Um, I, I often talk about projects that I'm very sad to see leave the studio and office, and uh, this is definitely one of them. Uh, do love this scheme ever so much. Um, again, you can see really nice, sharp, clean painting across all of the miniatures and consistency from miniature to miniature. Uh, we'll have a look at the chat with, I believe it's a dark lance, so you can have a look at him. Again, you've got that tassel there and that orange just to complement all the pipes and everything done in that orange just to complement that greeny blue armor color. Um, and I love the shades of purple on these guys as well. They just work really, really well. Uh, so yeah, that's some of the cab -like warriors, guys. I do hope you like them ever so much. We'll pull forward one more just so you can have a look at one more of these guys. Again, you can see all the eyes and everything, all the faces all fully painted. He's got a scarred eye, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, little bits of character like that really go a long way on the force and it's what you can expect with us here at Siege. Um, but again, just one of the Cablight -like Warriors. Do hope you like the force ever so much. Really, really phenomenal project to have the opportunity to work on for our client. And uh, yeah, just a big thank you to our client and thank you to you for watching. I'll see you very soon on the next one. These guys are off into the work plane. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.